Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. And on tonight's episode, I am joined by actually quite a few people on our Skype call tonight. Uh, some of you may recognize, some of them are brand new to the uh, the videos. Uh, tonight we have uh, Hydros Inc. joining us. Zoom the Barbarian! We also have uh, Bushido Bull, which I think might be AFK at the moment. I'm back, guys. Ah, there you go. Uh, let them know what character you're playing, what level you are at. I am Alar, and I am 76% into level 23. We also have uh, Dark Dragon on the call with us tonight. Deuce Raka, the insane gnome. You guys 22, are almost 23 necro. We have a very wise and uh, generous druid outside of our group. You can see him right there on the screen uh, as a wolf. Uh, go ahead and say uh, hello to everybody, man. Hello, everybody. This is Gavin Tree Runner. Good and, friend, guys. Which and let me should... let me hump your leg while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. I want you to make me a wolf, man. I want to be a wolf. Which should uh, be Gavin uh, Shiznit. And we also have thirty-nine, I think. We also have uh, a oh, bar okay. joining we'll us today like for uh, the second video that we've done uh, with them. Uh, if you want to say hello to everybody. Hi, right, guys. It's Narania. And we're over here in uh, the giant fort. Now, what do you guys think of this area over in Warsook Woods? I love it, man. Well, there's, no, the there's no waiting around for a mob. Uh, That's a fast... It. There's and always mobs. And we might be jinxing yeah. ourselves, but we haven't died in a very long time. Not no. like uh, over... Oh, Bite that lip. Yeah, Bite that lip. yeah. But it's also great cash if you can manage to get a forest loop. Exactly, yeah. We've, yeah. Been, we've been here all night, and uh, we haven't seen one of those yet. Oh, yeah. Can Is I there any place around here that... Uh, oh, we'd have to go back to FV... To, to sell. Nope. You can sell to the uh, Klosk in over there by the mud pits. I'm sorry, the sell to the what? The Ixar, the Klosk merchant, right oh, there. Oh, over there by the rhino that stands yep. next to him. Yep. I forgot about him. Okay, cool. You need to run He's over there. He's just one away. If yeah, you want, I need to sell too. Yeah, if you want to run over there and sell real quick, man, uh, I think we can hold the fort while you're gone. You think you probably have the easiest way of getting there with uh, your rogue, man? Yeah, but uh, sneaking and hiding over there take me forever. Oh, well, you don't have to. I'm just saying, like, if you get over encumbered to the point where you want to run over there. Yeah, at that well, point, I'll just ask Ivan for a uh, Sal and I'll run over and get yeah, it. Yeah, Sal, Sal, even in, in hide mode, it's it's a little bit faster. Oh, a lot faster. Yeah. Or all about the news. Now, or you could just stow us and I could run over there with you with uh, Invis so you don't have to take that speed hit penalty. Oh, let's see yeah, here. There you go. Where's now, that? Now, Thum, you're out there pulling, man. Uh, have you noticed any uh, tricks to pulling this area that you might want to share with the viewers? Anything that you've uh, kind of learned from the area now that if you've been here like, for about an hour? If they're at the entrance, guys, um, they're pretty much split up. I mean, I thought that they were close together and stuff like that, but you can arrow pull them. You don't have to body pull them. Like I thought that I would have to, so that's a that's a tip for you, if you're if you're pulling it in this zone uh, over there at the entrance that you can see on my screen right there. Uh, yeah, you don't have to body pull those guys. You can use an arrow. You can. You, I haven't tried to taunt pull yet. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just arrow pulling. But when I pull the one on the right with an with an arrow, it doesn't aggro anybody else. So that's you know, just thought I'd share that information. Now, how hard are they hitting you, man? Are they hitting you pretty hard, even with? They're not hitting me at all. They're hitting Nernia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's fine with him. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, he is still in the aggro away from you, but uh, he's he's doing a lot. Like I've noticed since he's joined, uh, the DPS in the group has gone up tremendously compared oh, yeah. to what it was before. Yeah, which, which, which just put everybody else into overdrive. Yeah, it I mean, is. You know, birds. I got. We're hitting him for forty three. Uh, I heard so. Uh, I just yeah, saw one hit her for forty three. So. They're between 40 and 50. Um, one thing I would like to say to those people that play support classes is when you get aggro, don't run around like an idiot. Just yeah. stand there stand and there. face the back towards all the, other, all the other people in your party because if their DPS is enough to pull it off, then you want the back of the creature facing them so that they're not taking dodge and parry modifiers from the front side. The tank will eventually get it off of you uh, unless you've done really something really, really bad to it. I second that. Don't go running around because it makes it very, very hard for me to stay in range and heal you. And if you're not in range, yeah, you're just going to die. 
Like, there's nothing I'm going to do about it. I can't, I can't keep up with you and keep up with the rest of the group. So, uh, if it comes down to it, I will choose five people or four people over one person. So you just, you got to stay within yeah. range. If you got, you guys like that, by the way. Like what? You guys just pulled two. Yeah, you kiting that one. Zoom, tanked one. I got two and coming Tanked guys. one, and I kited one. Yeah, but how much power did you go through doing that? Uh. 60% but I threw a dot on the two that you guys were fighting too yeah but see I don't, I don't know if that's as efficient as just kind of chilling back and and uh, helping out the group as they fight one mob at a time I think usually that's going to be more efficient for you well if I'm sitting here full mana why not yeah if you want to run off but then you never know if something's going to pop up here I think we're pretty safe but you in, in some places you have to worry about trains and uh, spawns that happen without you really being aware for it. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you don't because you got feigned death, you little fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then it resets the rest, the rest of, of us and pulls yeah. the whole train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then there's five dead bodies sitting right next to yours. <laughs> it's not that, really dead. That's okay. That's why necros have the necro res, so we can res the cleric, and then the cleric can res everybody else. So it's all good. As soon as that's I get to 29... The necro res. That's oh, the, yeah. I always yeah, found yeah, the necro's ability wild. to summon a corpse uh, from okay. anywhere in the dungeon useful. That's the that's yep. the thing. Yeah, I really like about necromancers. That was a lifesaver. I mean, especially nope. in pickup raids where you'd go fight a dragon, everybody wipes, and you get left right underneath the dragon. There's really no <laughs> way to get your corpse back other than to summon it to you. I got a fifteen hundred plat uh, tip from a guild one night for doing for uh, getting their corpses out of the the bottom of the hole. Yeah, well, it costs 400 plat or more for that for inlaid each coffin. Well, all I had to do was get uh, a couple of the rogues, and then they consented the, the two rogues, and the rogues pulled everybody else out. But they gave right. me 1500 uh, bucks, but I think I summoned three people. So I, I think it was 600 plat for me to spend on the coffins. I think there were 200 plat apiece. I'm not sure about that. They were pretty high there for a while, like four or 500 platinum. Uh, I yep. think it, I think they came down in price when you got the next uh, level above that actually uh, returned some experience or something like that as well. Like it revived and summoned. I forgot uh, exactly what that did with later expansions, but I think there was like a smaller coffin and then there was like the bigger coffin. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's the tiny jade inlaid coffin. That's the biggest tip I ever got on this game, though. Was that tip right there? Yeah, and fifteen hundred is a lot, man. Yeah, 96% res all the time, you know, and I'd, I would get two, sometimes three, sometimes four or five hundred plat with my cleric, but I never got no 1500 for a res. I, I never accepted money with the, the cleric because I knew exactly how horrible it was to sit there for hours trying to get experience and then lose it just because of something uh, either on your part or on somebody else's part. Uh, so I knew that, you know, I was making somebody's day by coming in and just giving people reses. Oh, I only accepted it if they offered if they offered it, I'd never, you know, I wasn't going to say no to it. I, mean, I always did. Funny. Yeah, I turned it I down mean, all the time. I always abused the, I always abused after Veil of Alaris slash uh, Reign of Fear when they I'm get. Cleric. Yeah, I'm at 9%, man. Oh, shit. All right, we're going to give you a med, med break after this, dude. Oh, no, I think I'm fine as long as you guys can keep it off of me so I can med a little bit more. Um, yeah, anywho, once they gave us the MGB and then the group res. You could. I, I was guilty of sitting right outside, you know, the most common wiping raids, uh, and I would just sit like right outside the the raid instance. That way, when the group when the guild failed, you know, I was there. Hey, three thousand. I get you a whole <laughs> raid rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had no problem accepting their money, but I always I had a a, a hot bar that was like, uh, resing uh, tips accepted but not necessary. I mean. Uh, that's what I'll do with my uh, with Sith Lord too. I mean, I'm not, I'm not looking for you know to to make people I, pay me. But if they're willing to, if they're willing to tip, I'm not gonna say no. I mean, the clarity is funny too. On how far you gotta run though? I mean, if you oh, yeah. you're sitting I'm, on Brooklyn before POK yeah. where you had a book and you have to pay the porter to teleport you over. Then you got to run halfway across the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go five or six zones over to to res you if. I'm not making any money off of it. I would if I was bored. If I didn't have anything to do, I'd run over. But yeah, I normally wouldn't run over to another zone and res somebody. If I was in the zone, no. and I, I could come afford to like it. unrest or something like AC. I think that's what you're talking about, right? Come to unrest. 
and res a bunch of people. Uh, no, just like wherever I was. If I was sitting at the entrance waiting for a group, if I was in a group and somebody could drag their corpse to me and I had the power to spare, I would toss them a res. Uh, you know, as long as I didn't have to run too far. And sometimes I right. would do it. But, uh, you know, as a cleric, you really can't travel very safely a lot of the time. Yeah, so, exactly. you know, you don't want to go to some of these, like, really, really dangerous places. I mean, you're almost dead. You're still pulling. Am I almost dead? Yeah, oh, you're at 36%, man. <laughs> it's all going to be okay. Until I die. Shh. Just I'll spin it, it around for you. <laughs> oh, it's on no, Dutraka. I, no, I had no idea, guys, so that's my bad. <laughs> no, don't we're good, worry. Man. I don't pay attention to my I, health. I, I pay it. attention to mom's health. And I they're right it. there together, too. So Don't worry. I got it. It's all good. Oh, no, we're good, man. I, I, I got him up to... The close to uh, full. How life. is your mana? Do you need a mana break? Uh, it's at fourteen percent. I think I'm fine, man. Uh, <laughs> there's plenty of giants to pull, dude. I don't want to. I don't want to get too nuts. There's Bard Crack. Yeah, let let's take a small. I don't right, think we fine. do. I gotta. I think as I long as you pull F one oh. one at a time, yeah. uh, my power is gonna go up. So. I need to wee wee muncher anyway. Wee wee muncher. Monsieur. So how long have you been in the zone, uh, Narnia? Uh, I've been in here two nights here and there, only when the uh, my normal kite spot in the over there is taken. Uh -oh. Then I kind of flip over here. Got a mob. What have you been? Uh, uh, what have you been kiting over there and over there? Um, I just got a rotation where it's chickens, uh, cactus, saranax, occasional oh, cat course. if I can't help it. Do you get and, any? Uh, uh, you get any name drops that are spawning over there, or just uh, random? No, uh, you know. No, nah, it's all yard trash. I mean, it, it's all just the trash in the fields. Right. Yeah, Why we, are you linking that ring band, dude? Giant Lord's tunic. Whoa, tunic. holy crap. Oh. Look at that tunic, dude. Did it drop? Yeah, look yeah. at that. Wow, AC, 18, 18? AC. Yeah, 18. That's yeah. better than what I got on. If it was, if, see, I lose 40 HP by rolling that thing. Yeah, I lose three strength and six stamina. I'm not going to. It is but, two points better on the AC, so. But I mean, like, oh. here, here's. See, that's debatable just on weight. Well, I mean, it's only eight yeah. pounds. The uh, small bronze breastplate that I have is nine point four pounds. pounds. Holy Yo, crap. hold up, hold up. The, Watch your life, the giant lord's tunic, way better. Why is it way better? Because the giant scale mail tunic is a weight of twenty. Is that something? Is that something we're uh, rolling on? Is that something we want to roll on? Well, do you need it as a warrior or no? I don't. I don't need it. I'm just curious. I mean, if it's going to be sold for trash, but uh, if somebody needs it, I'm all for giving it up. Need for greed. But if we're going to sell it for trash, well, I think. Uh, Narnia is That's the giant scale mail tunic. What you're wearing? wearing? Yeah, yeah, it's what yeah. I'm wearing. I, 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 just I would go grab the other one. The only yeah, thing if, is, you, if you need it, man, and you want it, it's fine. Take it. I'm debating it because of the HP thing. Yeah, right. but eight weight compared to 20. Yeah, but that extra hit when you get stunned by your train yeah, 40 hit points, is that man. chance of you living or dying. Yeah, but it's only Warrior, Shadow Knight, and Shaman anyways. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm out of there then. Yeah. All right. Uh, I mean, my we way can back, guys. The trash, guys. I'm not. It's certainly not going to replace what I got on. Yeah, I mean, even it, though it is better AC. You should look it up on uh, on the Google thing and see how much that is actually worth if it if it goes for anything. I that's it. Probably, probably just like sell to that. a player, man. I don't think it would sell to a player. You never know. Yeah, I could be wrong. Yeah. That, I mean, is that does that weigh less than your uh, yeah. centerpiece there? Hey, take it for your bronze, you man. Is it, it better? Then. Yeah. You well, no, you, it, I can't wear it. It's Warrior Shadow Knight and oh, Shaman. Okay, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, it, it weighs less than cleric. bronze armor. It does say cleric. I'm just saying. Does it say cleric? No. Yeah, warrior, cleric, paladin, ranger. That no, we're talking no, 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 shadow it, shaman, dude. You're looking at the other one, the one that, uh, oh. the scale oh. It's the giant lord's tunic there, Alar. I don't see it here. Watch your life, man. I only have yeah. 7%. It runs, it runs about 50 plat. All right, guys, let's give the. the well, there you go. 50, 50 plat's not bad, man. If you guys want oh. a random on it, go okay, ahead. Yeah, I see it. I'm a out. Troll ogre. And guys, I'm actually going to end my video here because I need to eat something. So I'm going to uh, tap out for That's a few minutes. I am going to go ahead and random just to see what I get. Yeah, I'll random to see what I get, but I am, I'm out on 
Yeah, I'm gonna pass on it just because. How random! Ninety-seven. I wasted that on a ninety-seven. <laughs> oh my! Oh my god! And ninety-two. We will never win anything ever again. We just wasted our good Ooh, numbers there. I got an eighty-five, there. dude. Oh my god! <laughs> Look, We're it, take it's it going AC down and down as <sighs> people roll. Ninety-seven. On, I can't. Everybody keep rolling. I want to see it go down to zero. I can't. Right, guys, but this is it for Thum. Uh We'll probably make another couple videos after this, but. Thank you. Hit that like button. Share the video, please. Leave me a comment, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Share the night together. together. Roll the liar. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll be uh, back in five, guys. And I'm going to continue on with my video, guys. So uh, if you want to stay around and see what it's like behind the scenes in between videos, uh, you're, you're more than welcome to do that. It does get a little quiet they're here when everybody goes to the bathroom, but, you know. And I'm going to go ahead and sit back down and med back up because I am only at 21%. I actually am having uh, somewhat of a difficult time keeping up with healing here. I need to get me some better items somewhere down the road. Uh, I've been kind of hesitant to concentrate on my guy because I think Thum as the main tank has been uh, you know, far more important to get you know, geared up. But I'm actually reaching the point where I'm having to uh, have them slow down and not you know, pull creatures just because I can't keep up with them. And that's kind of unacceptable. So... At some point, I'm going to have to, uh... What's um, that? Yeah, he could die once or hold twice. Up, hold up, hold up, hold <laughs> up. Every group goes at the speed of the cleric. You're right, That's they right. do, but if the tank isn't taking hits, I don't have to heal. So they go hand-in-hand hand with one another. Right, well, how is how are we slowing down? We're slowing down because even with the armor that Doom has, uh, he's taking hits a little bit more then I can keep up with healing. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like they have to they have to go in conjunction with one another. I just haven't really concentrated on my armor as much as I probably should have. No, no, you're you're missing what I'm saying. The group goes at the speed of the cleric. Yeah, so I got I got your there is no speed up or slow down for you because we go at your speed. I got your your message. Now, what, what is that for? Heal, that is the name of an enchanter that I use for all my J C stuff. He's fairly reasonable. Like he, for me, he made my my stuff at cost. Wow! Nice. Um, and he Aww. does that. He does that a lot of the time for people for lower level players. So, uh, Goblin Spirit. Yeah, Lord. I'll definitely hit him up. I mean, I'm still saving up cash. Uh, we'll have to see what we can get uh, in some of the. I think we're gonna probably head back to High Pass because that that little idol sells for like four or five hundred platinum. That's pretty good cash, I think. Yeah, and I mean, like, he made me two of these for 40 plat. Let me click on that real quick if it will pop up. Wow, Let's really? Make... He made you two of those for 40 plat? Yep. Because, wow. he, like I said, he's he, he'll he mark up a little bit on the higher end stuff so that, you know, he makes his money back and whatnot. But on the, on the low bees, he tries to make it at cost or sometimes he'll even dip below cost. So it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah, so I'll definitely. Like, uh, you know, I always that. plug him when I can. I'll I've definitely hit him up and let him know that uh, you sent okay. me over, uh, because that that's pretty nice, man. I mean, I like I said, I haven't really been concentrating on my armor, just because I've been having so much fun hanging out with uh, you know everybody that we've been doing videos with. But uh, yeah, because the group is having to stop because of me, uh, I feel horrible for that. So I'm kind of hoping. It's always that, gonna be that way, though. But it's not because if your cleric is it's good enough, news. no, it's not because if your cleric's good enough, the group never has to stop pulling. I've been plenty of groups where my cleric just had 60, 70, or even 100% power the whole time. Like, he, he could keep up, the tank could keep up, everybody can keep up, and that's the way you want it. But, uh, you well, know... It, then you could just say that it's Doom's fault, because his gear isn't good enough, so he takes too, too big a hit. <laughs> <laughs> or you could say, or you could say it's my yeah, fault sitting because down my I'm not doing enough dropping. PS. You can, you can blame it on anybody you want. Ultimately, though, I still feel responsible but, because it's me who doesn't but, have the power. You know, so no, you're the band aid chucker. You just <laughs> sit there and you do your job. And that's it. You don't worry about nothing else. Actually, as a cleric, you got to worry I about mean, a lot of things. No, well, no matter what, what I'm saying is, is it, the group is always going to go at your speed. Right, and they can go at my Boom, speed. Boom, the barbarian. All the time. That's Boom, what I'm the man of leech. <laughs> oh Jesus, the man of leech. So, well, what, I, what I'm saying is, is you're I get what you're saying, man. I get what you're saying. I'm just saying. Here. That it doesn't matter. Even if, it, it, even if over, you have you know? the best gear in the game, how's mana? It's good, man. Go for it. Sixty percent at your rate. 
<laughs> the age old debate is back again. Right? That was like the chicken yeah. and the egg, man. It kept going around and around <laughs> in circles. What is it's going the on? No, don't don't ask what's going on, man. We do not <laughs> okay, want to open that can of worms again. <laughs> I'm sorry. For the, uh, that was like a twenty minute debate on the same subject. <laughs> I wasn't even going five minutes, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, well, it felt like 20 minutes. <laughs> well, he's saying that he needs oh, better gear. Oh, no, we started to get bad. How did just, this happen? <laughs> I'm just trying to get, he's worrying about nothing. I thought you guys were sharing the night That's together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. God, you're singing. <laughs> so how many of you cheated with yourself uh, since heading? You mean, uh, uh, to, oh, you talking about uh, linking it to a button? To a macro? To your, one of your move buttons? Um, yeah, well, in my case, I didn't do it that way. I did it with my gaming keyboard, but same difference. Yeah, I don't I even use it. my sense setting, like, ever. It's yes, I, that it's cheating. Well, what I did was I had, you, do you guys have any of the gaming keyboards out there? I'm assuming you do. No, I, I want to get one. Ordinary keyboard. I just got a brand new computer, Ordinary so that's where all my money went. With the yeah. warrior, with the warrior, I just uh, I, I put it next to my tone button, so I really don't. I mean, I hit it every time I hit my tone button. It's really maxed out right now, so I had it maxed out pretty early, actually, too. So, AC. well, for me, like I'll put I'll put tr any character that has you know I'll any of the, free hill, the annoying skills. I'll put the I'll put like uh, forage, you know, do ability forage. Oh, and nope. It's auto inventory macro, and then I'll do sense heading. And you know, uh, tracking, for example, and I'll set them all all up, and then uh, once they're all set, I'll use like the programmable buttons on my Razer keyboard, and just program it so that you know, I like a toggle switch, and so I hit M3 on my keyboard, and it simulates me pressing that button, and I can put in delays. So like when I activate it, I sense heading every six seconds. Oh really? Wow! And, and that way, I never have to worry about leveling it up. Like my sun settings at two hundred, and it leveled itself in a space of an hour and a half, two hours. Nice. Don't you wish you could do swimming like that? You can. Oh, can you really? <laughs> swimming is the easiest thing to level at all, especially for a barbarian. It goes up yeah. so slowly, man. All you got to do is swim in a circle or run yeah, on you ice. Go to Hallis, you go to Hallis, Make sure you're facing straight up. Swim into the where the dock meets the pillar yeah. that holds up the dock. Yeah. Lock yourself in that corner. Leave auto run on. I swam that every time we'd go across it too, and AC was always like, "What are you doing?" I get stuck so <laughs> many times on that stupid ledge for like an hour. I can never get up that little thing. I don't not. I, I don't get in water hey, unless I have to. I I do have one question for people. Go for hmm. it. What are we gonna What are we gonna do, sit back and teach each other languages? We can do uh, it right now. Yeah, it's so easy on live, man. You can just bounce it right off your uh, your mercenary, dude. It was so quick and so easy. My they druid, fixed that. Yeah, my druid knew every language there was. What do you mean they fixed it? They they fixed it. He doesn't count. The mercs supposedly don't count as a uh, oh, as a party man. towards language. Well, that's back sucks. in the day, you could do that and and beg off the ship mast. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally you. You know, that's one of that's another thing. One of those gaming keyboards was good for cuz you know, once again, shift up and enter. <laughs> Set it on a every second, you know, macro. Mm. We'll see uh to let you guys know, what I do is uh I'll set it to say gnome and then I'll hit my one hotkey, which is this. Yep. yep. And then there you go. I think everybody here knows how to learn a language, you. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but for the people at home who may not know, uh, it's definitely yeah. a nice little tip for those people. But uh, that yeah, is a nice tip. well, well, the reason I do it that way is because by doing the alphabet and then one through zero, it actually teaches better than just talking. Now, do you fill up every line in your, in your uh, macro key? You do. Yeah, I do all four oh, lines. Yeah. Oh, that's what I used to do too. It's a it's just, it always made my fingers sore, man, because I would, you know, you'd press it so much and stuff like that over and over again. And then yeah. you have everybody else press it because if you're pressing it too, then you learn it faster if everybody's pressing it. So I don't know. It just It made my fingers sore. Well, I just get six people in a group and teach six different languages at once. Yep. Yeah, I remember they used to have groups like that where people would trade or pay 10 platinum to get into the group and yep. learn the language for, you know, 20, 30 minutes. It yep. took me three weeks to learn Elder Dragon. 
It's crazy. definitely something that I would be interested in doing if you guys were up for it at any time. So, yeah, I we already can, said we can now it's uh, it's uh, four. Uh, I'll be logging off after this video, guys. I'm going home. So, just so you guys know, yeah, that. it's almost five o'clock. Yeah, anyways. it's it's late. Yeah, we can call it a, an episode after, or call it a night after this. But yeah, at some point we can get back together and do uh, you know a group where we teach each other uh, you know languages. But I don't think that's going to be enough for an entire episode. Like we're going to be no, needed to be doing something else other than that because that's oh yeah, well, ultimately that's, like, pretty boring. One of us have to be pulling. I'll be pulling. We'll be killing. But I mean, you know, it's like you said. I can put it on number one well, or something like that. And we can just hit the button while we're while we're killing and stuff like you, that. You basically don't want to do it on video. Because it's going to be really, really boring. Yeah, unless you're doing something in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You also you want to do it next to a, a zone line because it won't Ooh, this show. Got an axe. It won't Ooh. show the language in your language list until you zone. Yeah, but you you still will have learned that language, so it doesn't really matter as long as you're not going to, you know, be checking it every five seconds about like what what. I, I bet that's at. that named axe is worth forty thousand plat, dude. Well, yeah, but also, um, <laughs> anybody believe me? No, <laughs> no, but that axe is great uh, for a beginner. SK. The the other reason is is in order to know how high you've gotten it, you have to zone again. Well, you can pretty much tell just by whether you can understand what somebody's saying or not. Yeah, sometimes. Like is this? Hey, you don't play the music. I just do it, and I'll spam it for five minutes, and then I'll zone. Experience is good here, AC. I'm almost uh, five. I'm almost level twenty three. If we come here tomorrow night, since we're gonna play, oh, our, we're so um, close to level two. I'm about yeah, half a bubble. Yeah, we play our mains again. We, I'll probably level twenty three tonight, tomorrow night. Our twenty. That way we're doing air dice tomorrow. Twenty three. Friday. No, that's Friday. Your dice are Friday. I want to see this axe, guys. Somebody link it to me if you loot it, please. It, axe in the good. iron back. Yep, that's the SK axe. I'm an SK. Warrior Paladin, Ranger, and Shadow Knight, man. Twelve, Does link twelve. It? Wait, holy crap! Oh, he didn't link. He didn't link it in party. Oh, okay. Link it. He still didn't link Thank it. Thank you, sir. Uh, no, but he should sugar. be close enough. Sixteen damage, thirty-seven. That is horrible. Well, Awful. it's not bad, man. Sixteen damage and thirty-seven delay isn't isn't horrible, but. 3.7 second delay. That's pretty bad, dude. If nobody at, wants at it, all. I'll take it for my uh, Shadow Knight. Go for at it. At our current level, though, you could have it, brother. I don't want it. Knight, it's not bad. Yeah, at our current level, it probably would be good for a Shadow Knight. You're right. The weight, though, man. Good lord, the weight on that sucker. What 12 is the pounds. Oh, so it's not gonna yeah, but all of those, all of those characters are strength-based characters, so That's I would true. expect every last one of them to be able to carry some weight behind it. Yeah, true. But I'm yeah. just saying, like, 12 pounds for a weapon just sounds so. Hey, see, how's your man? I'm, I got two incoming, brother. I'm at e, 80. I'm good, man. And I'm so close to die. level. But you said you were at an E. I was like, what? Is that only empty? It's actually better than the one my. Uh, Guys, by about three uh, points fast. No force loop. I'm really disappointed by that. You yeah, say know, that right? right as we're about to get one, man. Oh, I hope so. Man. <laughs> you know what's gonna be? It's like when you play slots, and just as you walk See? away because you don't, you ran out of quarters. Somebody else gets it. Somebody yeah. comes in the very first quarter they draw. <laughs> I've seen it happen. I used to work at a. Uh, ooh, nice crit, twenty-five. Ooh, ooh not another crit. Holy crap! See, we machine. were, we were gonna get one. But now that you mentioned that we're going to get one, now we're not. Oh, I'm not superstitious at all, man. We'll either get one or we won't. Well, that's not superstition. That's just jinxing yourself. Um, <laughs> what is jinx if not a superstition? <laughs> Elucidate, hey. my friend. Elucidate. Hey, AC. Yeah, what's up? Once you get a higher level, obviously not now, but once you get a higher level, you should practice floating him. Floating Boom. him? What do you, what do you mean? Um, you never heal a warrior above fifty yeah. percent. Oh try yeah, yeah. When Keep I get me berserk. when Keep I get complete berserk. heal, that's definitely going to become a thing. Because I always yeah, waited to the purple. very last moment, like two percent, one percent. The warriors would be, you know, sweating and peeing their pants, just waiting for that heal to come. And uh, I would get it right at the last second. I would always, yeah. you know, challenge myself to do that. But that's different, though. I mean, if you complete heal me, you're going to take me out of position. Yeah, range. yeah but I, I'd wait. Speed? I'd wait until you get down to like one percent. So you'd get that that short little burst for well, for at least uh you no. know thirty forty seconds. I don't want to keep you down there too long because you can take that's a bad hit. That's what floating hit. is. That's what he's talking about. Floating. Well, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about like floating. Floating. You keep up right about 
20, you know, a, 20, 20, 30 20, percent. Yeah. Between 20 and 29. And that yeah. way, that even if he takes stuff. a bad hit, he's yeah. only going to get down to, you know, 5%, and then you hit him with an emergency heal. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess it would depend on the, 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 the area that we're at and how many ads that he can get. Because over here, uh, it just seems like we have ad after ad after ad. Oh, so. yeah. But like Dreadlands, it's like really nice just to boost his DPS. Right. I would think it's yeah, really I mean, bad. It, it, he's taking hits. It will make if me he's a, just a short machine. Down, yeah. Then just do a lesser heal on them. Just keep them in the berserker. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely it's dangerous, possible. And, and my cleric doesn't like doing it either. But uh, you, you, it's definitely possible. It's a possibility. And the warrior does a lot of damage. It's amazing how much I crit. And stuff like that when when I'm berserk. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. yeah like I said, land your heal. I when think I get haste too. Do I not? When I go. No, berserk? you don't get a haste, but you get the critical hit modifier and then the crippling hit. Oh yeah. Watch. I love listening to their bones break, man. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's their but, bones and not yours, man. Right. But when we were talking about group composition, I had one more for you there, Duth. Um. Uh oh. I didn't do it. I swear. I used to I used to roll my shaman and my enchanter as buff bots, right? right? And then I had the ranger for the headshot, and we would camp in the uh, right outside Kazakh Thul in the Dream Fear Rot, okay? okay? While he's headshotting all the lizard men, we had an SK that would round up all the other mobs in the zone, and he would he would bring them back and train them in just as if he was normally going to swarm. But we had a berserker there Wait, who would pop a shadow knight swarm. Yeah. Oh yeah, on live. Oh yeah, their nice. epic, their epic two point oh, it basically converts all damage they do to a straight life tap. Every every point of damage they deal, they get back in health. Okay, so off the shield bashes, the rep, you know, the repost, the the normal two hander with visage. Oh, they can. You know, they can fortress mech. I've desynced the zone from the server. Would you like some four times. Kickbox Berserker? But, <laughs> so you'll have this massive swarm, right? Zerker pops his AoE rampage and decaps half of it. It's it's insane. Because you have both insta-kill machines going. The SK is taking all of the damage for the Zerker and surviving. And the whole time you're having any kind of downtime between, you know, swarm pulls, any of that, you have the ranger sitting there headshotting. It, it's right. literally clearing the entire zone in, you know. And it does sound fierce, man. Well, that, so do you still play live? Uh, I haven't since I quit just because, you know, just because it's, like I said, I didn't have the latest expansion and there didn't really seem to be much of a point because I already had all the raid items from the previous expansion. Now, what was the latest expansion you played? Um, Call of the Forsaken was the last one that I raided in. I think that's the last one that I that I had too. Um, or was it? What was the one after that? Dark and Sea. Yeah, I had Dark and Sea. That's right. I I had Dark and Sea. Because you just but stopped playing like, uh, what, like just, three months ago. I just ago? bought Dark and Sea and I got all the the ones that that I were missing. I was missing like three or four. So. Yeah, I like how they swap though. If you buy one, the latest one, you get all the ones back. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I wanted to do a comparison question for each one of you guys as far as how do you guys feel in comparison between other MMOs and EQ and P99 as far as quality of the game content such as lore? P99 it's like, is hands above uh, any other MMO I've ever played, dude. Well, are you talking about just lore My as far opinion. as like the storyline goes, right? Yeah, actually giving a crap about the storyline. Wow, you know, Wild's a love song to Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, uh, P99, a classic EverQuest, was a love song to Dungeons and Dragons. And you can see it, you can tell it. The love and the and yeah. the care that they put into this universe, dude, it's just it's present. Early, early EverQuest was m made to just be Dungeons and Dragons brought to your screen. Yeah. It's hard but to... Then it's it started getting dumbed down and dumbed down and dumbed down and... There you go. See, but when you some people say Lukeland, some people people say Planes of Powers when it started losing its charm. But but we see I don't when know. you when you say lore, are you talking about just from the video game or from the entire genre? Because I look at games like um, uh, Skyrim, where they have that uh, MMO oh, now yeah. as well, and there's tons yeah. of lore in there. Yeah, Skyrim's but not awesome. in but not in the the MMO version of it. Like yeah, the, the lore of the series, right. there's tons of it. So now, see when I when I. 
like I'm Lord sure of the Rings guys, too, guys. Yeah, and Dungeons and Dragons as well, but not the MMOs. Like the MMOs come up short in that department, but the, the series. I've heard has good tons things about Lord of the Rings as far as uh, lore and 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 story and stuff like that. I mean, Super Bits and Bombs is really impressed by Lord of the Rings right now. That's why he's making videos of it. I, I, I mean, just I've it. played that before. It's me. I've never played it, so I can't. All I can say is uh, P99, our classic EverQuest, uh, does it for me. That gets my vote. And I've played World of Warcraft. I've played a bunch of other MMOs. Uh, EverQuest, hands down. That's to me, the, uh, the Lord of the Rings is just a better-looking version of WoW. Yeah, it is. What were you going to say, Narnia? Uh, what gets me is, like, you guys remember the first time you logged into, you know, Classic when it was the only era of EverQuest. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Then, and then Kunark Before came. Before Kunark came out. Yeah, and then Kunark, even even in Kunark, you know, you created... My first experience with an Ixar was I created an Ixar and got lost in their city, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. And, and I end up at this library with a guy selling books, on, you know, and they're a couple copper a piece. And you're like, well... What did, what did these books do? And it's literally the entire Ixar racial yeah, history yeah. down to the green mist and everything. Yep. And you're I, sitting there like, what other game current or past has that kind of depth that yeah. now you know all about your character? Yep. And as you progress, you'll find other notes. The race and stuff about, like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did you yeah. ever see the expanded Prima strategy guide for Kunark? Yes, I did. I, I have that. I have that book, man. I've had it since Cunard came out, and it is freaking huge, and I love it so much. I still read it to this day, man. I'll flip through it, look at the maps and stuff like that. Did you buy the Atlas, the uh, the EQ Atlas? Yeah, the ones with the maps and stuff like that. Yeah. The power on the front of it? Yes, yep. I have that. I got the cloth map. Uh, I've got I the missed. original EverQuest manual that came with the, the first game. I still have that. I you wish guys, I had the copies of the games. You guys still have those little figurines of the, the chick holding the little staff? That used to no, come I with the copy. Yeah, I, know, I, know, I, I, know, I wish I had. I still have, have, hold on, I still have that uh, keychain with the uh, symbols and translations on it. Yeah, I still have three of her, but one of the staffs has broken off over the years. But those are really cool. I have all the other stuff you're talking about as well. I saved everything to do with EverQuest. I mean, I love this game. That, that like you said, the lore is friggin' amazing, and the fact that they put that kind of effort into it. The only series that I've I've seen since is Skyrim, and they have libraries that where you can walk amazing. in there, okay. and it's just book after book after book after book. And some of these pa some of these books are like 300 pages long that they I wrote just for the series. Oblivion, man. You're going to love Oblivion, dude. Yeah. I've been watching it. it. I've been though. watching it. I've been watching your, yeah. your Let's Play of it, man. It looks good so far. Oh, uh, you love you Mar playing it, Mar man. I suggest Mar Mar the same way, guys. It's, it's got uh, lots of lore to it behind it. Mormon's where I started as far but as Elder Scrolls. Here's, here's my issue I started in Arena. Here's my issue with that, okay? Morrowind is great from the first person perspective, right? Right. But you have all of these, you know, let's let's recap the last few years here. World of Warcraft hey, started, great started game. Oh yeah, I mean, started but it started losing some of its popularity. Yeah, and then you lately got, it has. Yeah, the last Wild expansion. Star, new new MMO that bombed, you know, I mean, oh. let's let's be honest, it was a straight tank. Then you have Elder Scrolls Online, which wasn't sure if it wanted to be a RPG that, or that's an, crap. It's crap. getting better. I've heard it's getting better, guys. Yeah, but I mean, how much of their player base did they lose at the very beginning no, because they because released it started off as crap? Yeah. I heard that, but they. Uh, I don't I, know. I, I want to try you know, it. I so, still don't like it for the simple reason because they they made everybody play all the characters and there's no factions or anything. It just go in there and just run around. I can't so where I've that's not even that's not even part of the lore. Who was on where? Who was on cleaning off the giants' corpses? Uh, because I can't target anything. Thank you for failing right. in your duties. I'll run I can't off. even target <laughs> the bodies. Oh, there we go. So uh, where I where I think that where the game developers, especially in the MMO market specifically, are starting to fall short is you know a lot of publicity has gone to green light projects through Steam and other media where indie developers get out there and they put out their new content. And yes, it's buggy, but it's an indie developer. And as gamers, we've kind With of come to this consensus. Yeah, but we've yeah, come to this consensus. It's a small group I that can this. barely afford to pay its people to work on the thing, much less, you know, sit on it for six months until they polish out everything. So 
they release it buggy, and we're okay with that because we got to have that new game, right? Right. When I it comes absolutely. down, when it comes down to it, though, traditionally we have gone to a triple A box sale because we didn't want that when when we bought a triple A product. We said, okay, you know. We're buying a AAA product. We expect to have a nice polished game. And when you look at companies like Ubisoft that are releasing, you know, games that are just broken at the start. I mean, look mm -hmm. at Heroes of Might and Magic Seven, which is, you know, I'm a twenty, I'm a twenty year veteran of Heroes I'll of Might like, and Magic. I like the Might the, and Magic series. The last series, one right? I liked it was that it bad? Was so Might Might and Magic Three. Was it was After it bad? That, the new one was it bad? The, the combat system is similar to Five. Okay, but they didn't even feel the need to give the cinematics facial animations. Wow. <laughs> they so they, so they look like money, they man. look like dolls then basically with no Yeah, basically, but here's the here's the weird thing. If you look really hard, you'll notice when they're talking, the tongue is animated. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> no. even worse. It's this little like moving sliver so in they're... the sliver. So they're from yeah. California. I mean, they've been had too much Botox. What, what's going on with that? I mean, their their face isn't oh, moving what anymore. What it is is they're cutting corners to make bigger and bigger profits. No, I get it. I get off. it. But I'm just saying, like that. I without trying to toot YouTube's horn, I think YouTube has really helped uh, let people know which of these sucky games are coming out. Like people can see the footage, they can see people's reviews, and they can see why they're judging it to be the way it is. Before they go out and buy that sixty, seventy, eighty dollar game, so well, see, if they want to make, why, that's why I like Steam, where you can return it. Right, but that's what I, I'm saying. I like, feel like Steam needs to expand their return policy because you know it's two weeks or two hours, and it's like you know, uh, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I don't judge a game until at least I've got you know ten, twelve hours in it, so I make sure that I've meet, met the meat. And so it's not broken. Game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, I agree. That's how some people are scamming. They make the first two hours really good, and then they just blow out the rest of it. Yeah, exactly. but then, but then again, that's what YouTube yeah. is for. Because if you're doing that, people will notice, and they're blasted yeah. all over the internet. And anybody who takes the you know the five minutes to go and like research a game before they flop down sixty, seventy bucks, we'll see that it's complete garbage. So. I think that's but, a lot more helpful than it was back in the day when I was a young kid buying video games and all you had was the back cover of the box that always lied to you. It showed you like the cinematic and not like screenshots. <laughs> and you're like, this game looked cool. No, and you get home and, and it's like and all would, blocky and it doesn't work. And you're like, oh, crap. And they would present the, the cinematics as a screenshot. Yeah, and yeah. They could they would, do it and they could get away with it too. Yeah, because it's, it's in the game. Oh, yeah. It's in the game. So they weren't lying. But you know, if you open up the box, the the company wouldn't take it back. So you were just messed out of you know, sixty bucks or whatever yeah. it was back in the day. And it's like it just sucks so bad. Now, before I plop down that money, I always go watch like ten or fifteen videos to see if yeah. I'm gonna even like that. Yeah, game. YouTube's good for that. Yeah, I remember I bought the first South Park game. <laughs> well, the one on the uh, where you throw snowballs at the turkeys and stuff. <laughs> the N64 one. Yeah, it's such a terrible game, dude. What's but they that? they they uh, had their. Uh, you know they did much better with uh, the stick of truth, man. That was oh a, my god, that was a, that was I, awesome. I man. just want to yeah. point out that elevated the ogre is pulling giants as well now. Yeah, I see him. That's fine. They can they can have some. In fact, but, I think we're gonna so. go ahead and uh, in the episode here, guys. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button. It helps all of our channels grow, and we greatly appreciate it. Also, if you guys got any comments, make sure to leave those down below because we do love hearing back from you guys. And uh, we read all of them. We may not get to reply to all of them, uh, but we do read everything you guys have to say. Uh, do you guys want to go ahead and say anything before we head out? Let people know what channel they I can wanna, find you at. I want to say thank you to Robert uh, Guyvin for just hanging out with us and having the patience and uh, the kindness to come over here and give us Sal and, and give us Druid Buzz when we need it. I mean... You know, he's not yeah. getting anything out of this except for the pleasure of our company. And so thank you, Robert. I really appreciate it, brother. Well, and that $300 guess. you offered him. <laughs> 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 and don't talk, Nomi, because you owe me more than that. <laughs> I owe you a quarter of a soul. <laughs> I'm, broke. <laughs> I'm broke. I need rent. I need child support. I'm a child. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. I know heart. exactly what you want, Gavin. Here you go. Go for it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh sniff it. Doggy, sniff it. Doggy pound. <laughs> it's a dog pound. 
<laughs> you saw what I did, right? Yep. Yes, I'm, I'm, ooh, oh, you got it. So Level 26. This is a great way to end oh, the episode grass, right there, guys. Yeah, and again, guys, grass. thanks for watching. We will definitely catch you all next time. Subscribe. So, yeah. Hey, hey Thum. <laughs>